For this video, I'd like to talk about combining equations. And this skill is essentially going to set up what's known as the elimination method for solving systems. But before we get to the elimination method, let's just think about what happens if I add an equation to another equation. And at this point, we've seen that if we had some type of equation, and let's say I wanted to add two to everything, that as long as I do it to both sides, that the equation would remain two because I'm performing the same operation on both sides. Now I could have also, let's say, multiplied everything by two. I could have two y is eight x plus four. As long as I multiply everything by two, then these are equivalent to each other. So we've seen that before where we just do regular arithmetic to each side of the equation. And as long as it's the same thing, it's okay to do. Now in this one, it's a little bit more complicated. We're going to start with this top equation. And to this one, we're going to add an entire equation to each side. So on the left side, we're going to add this entire expression here, minus 9x minus 4y. So I'm adding that, minus 9x minus 4y. And on the left, I'm going to have to add the same thing. But this is equal to negative 3. So really, on the left, I'm just going to add negative 3. And the reason that this is true is I'm still adding the same thing to each side. It's just they don't look the same. But remember that 9x minus 4y is negative 3 since it's equal to negative three. So these are the same thing. And so I'm adding the same thing to both sides. And so I'm not changing the equation. And so this is valid. It might seem complicated, but this is definitely something valid you can do. As long as you're doing the same thing to both sides, there's nothing wrong with this. And when we do this, the reason is often to eliminate some type of variable, though not always. But when we're adding or subtracting sometimes these equations, we can often make some nice simplifications. But we want to line it up by columns so that the variables line up. You don't want to line up the y's with the x's and vice versa. You want to put the x's over the x's so that we can just add straight down, kind of like normal addition with regular numbers in these columns, right? You would just add straight down. So we'll do that here. We have 4x plus negative 9x. So essentially 4x minus 9x, that would be minus 5x. Here we have minus 4y plus negative 4y, or minus 4y minus 4y, which would be minus 8y. And here we have minus 2 and plus negative 3, which is just minus 2 minus 3, which would be negative 5. So when we add these two equations together, it simplifies to this new equation here. And again, this might seem kind of abstract. Why are we doing this? Why are we practicing this skill? Well, this is going to be useful when we use the elimination method when we solve a system of equations. For instance, if we had 2x minus y equals 4, and we add to it 3x plus y equals 2, Notice what happens, that when we add straight down, we get 5x for the x's, but we have minus y plus y, which is 0y. And so with this technique, we've eliminated the y variable, and we've transformed this to an equation where you just have x, and you can solve for x. Divide each side by 5. Once you solve for x, you can plug that into either equation and figure out what the y value is. Because when you have these systems, remember, all we're really doing is just figuring out where these two lines, each of these are linear equations, we're figuring out where these two lines are gonna cross each other. And we know it's at an x value of 6 fifths, and then whatever the y value is once we plug in x and we solve it for y. But that's not the focus of this video. That's what we're building up to. That's why we're learning how to add or subtract equations to each other, because this elimination method can be very useful. So let's do some more problems just to get this skill, give this skill a lot of practice. So I'm going to, in this one, subtract the second equation from the first. So let me just rewrite the first one, x minus 3y equals 6. And we're going to subtract that second one. So minus this whole thing. 
And again, I'm going to put the variable terms on the left. So I'm subtracting this minus 8x minus y. And on the right, I'm subtracting the same thing, but this is equal to 6. So I'm subtracting 6 on the right side. Now, to subtract this equation, again, we're lining up by column. So the x's and the y's and the numbers line up. And then we just do the arithmetic. So we have x minus negative 8x. So subtracting a negative is just adding. So x plus 8x would be 9x. Here we have minus 3y minus negative y. So again, that's the same as adding y. Minus 3y plus y would be minus 2y. And we have 6 minus 6, which would be 0. So the result of subtracting the second equation from the first would result in this new equation, 9x minus 2y equals 0. And let's continue on these. So now we're going to add these two equations. So 2x plus 3y is minus 5, and I'm going to add to both sides the same thing, and that's going to be this equation. So on the right, I'm adding 5x minus y, and on the excuse me, on the left, I'm adding 5x minus y, and on the right, I'm adding this negative 12. So we line up the columns, we line the x's, y's, and the numbers up. 2x plus 5y is 7x. 3y plus negative y, so that's subtracting y, would just be positive 2y. Minus 5 plus negative 12, so minus 5 minus 12, which would be negative 17. So when we add these two equations together, it results in a new equation. This 7x plus 2y is negative 17. And we'll do one final question. So we're going to subtract the second equation from the first. So let me just rewrite the first one. And in general, you probably notice that whether I'm adding or subtracting, I do like to put it in parentheses it's because we're subtracting this whole thing. And especially for subtraction, that's where you really want to be careful because this negative is really going to distribute everything. So subtracting the entire second equation, so I'll write minus 3x plus 4y on the left, and on the right, we are subtracting 5. And again, we're just subtracting the same thing from each side because minus 3x plus 4y is 5. They're the same thing. So we line up the columns. And we have 8x minus negative 3x. So that's adding 3x. That would just be 11x. And we have minus 4y minus positive 4y. So minus 4y minus 4y would be minus 8y. And we have minus 4 minus positive 5. So minus 4 minus 5 would be negative 9. So when we subtracted the second one from the first, we got this 11x minus 8y is negative 9.